guys, Liz here, and we're back at it with another at-home workout. So get your water, get your gloves, and get your lives together because we're gonna start off getting that heart rate nice and elevated. We're gonna go right into some butt kickers. Right now, let's go, give me some butt kickers. You're gonna lean forwards and you're gonna drive those heels back towards your glutes, working like you're trying to kick yourself in the butt, but warming up your legs here, especially those quads and those hamstrings because we've got a lot of legs coming up in the beginning of this conditioning portion. From here, we're gonna go right into high knees. Lean back and drive those knees up towards your waist level. Again, you're using your abs to drive those knees up and we're gonna get those abs even warmer because when I say freeze, you're gonna drop it down onto those palms. We got shoulder taps right now. Let's go freeze, drop it down. Shoulders are directly over your wrist. Your hips and shoulders are in line. You're getting your opposite hand to meet that opposite shoulder, keeping your core from rocking side to side here, guys, okay? We got a few more seconds. We're gonna stand up for those high knees right now. Let's go stand it up. High knees, now I want a little bit more speed here. So that means you're gonna focus on pushing that mat or pushing that floor away from you and pumping those arms so you get those abs more engaged and you get that heart rate a little more higher. We're gonna go back into butt kickers. Right now, let's go. Lean forwards, kick it back. And now you're pretending like you're kicking yourself in the butt. So if you gotta put your thumb and point it together to make a target to kick, do so, all right? We got a few more seconds here. We're gonna drop it down again. We're gonna go back into those shoulder taps. Right now, let's go, drop it down. Give me those shoulder tap guys. So the key here is contracting your core here, right? You don't wanna be moving side to side like this because you're losing whatever ab engagement this exercise gives you. Squeeze your core and get that hand to meet that shoulder. This is not an exercise that is meant to be rushed. You guys can take your time with this, okay? We're gonna stand it up one more time. We got four high knees. Four butt kickers right now, so four high knees. One, two, three, four, four butt kickers. One, two, three, four. Exaggerate all eight motions here. I want those knees up nice and high and I want those heels coming back towards your glutes just as well, guys. It's important that you get that whole body nice and warm because we got a lot to cover in the first 15 minutes here, okay? We're gonna drop it down one more time for those shoulder taps. Right now, let's go, drop it down. Give me those shoulder taps again. Try to get your ankles to touch at the bottom and get that hand to meet that opposite shoulder. You should be looking straight ahead as you do this as well. This way you give yourself a clear passageway to get the oxygen from your lungs into your muscles, guys, okay? We're gonna stand it up in about five seconds. You got three, you got two, let's go. Stand it up, you're gonna go eight high knees, eight butt kickers. So now you're gonna exaggerate all 16 motions here of driving those knees up. Eight times, nice and high, nice and fast. If you gotta pump your arms, pump your arms and kicking your heels back. This is really good to get that heart rate up, but again, get those muscles nice and loose because we got a few more seconds here and we're gonna go right into legs. So now give me just those high knees, let's go. Drive those knees up, you're here for 10 seconds, all right? So drive them up, give me speed, guys, because when I say go, we're gonna slow it down. You're just gonna hold your squat. Right now, let's go, hold that squat. So, feet should always be shoulder with distance apart. You're gonna pretend like you're sitting in a chair. Like, you know, like little preschoolers, they have a little chair. Pretend that's the goal of what you wanna sit in and just hold it, okay? Again, you could add pulses to make it a little more difficult. It's gonna force you to engage your quads, your glutes, and your hamstrings a little bit more. So just pulse and hold, keep that chest up, guys, okay? That's the most important part, is keeping that chest up. You never wanna slouch here. You're still working your posture, okay? Without standing, we're gonna still work legs. We got reverse lunges right now. So from that squat position, you're just gonna take your right leg, step behind yourself here. You're gonna step forward so that your knees are still above. You should look like a skier going downhill and then take that left leg and step it behind you. Remember all the while, you're not slamming those knees into the floor because that's gonna hurt your knees, right? You wanna work on keeping that chest up but bring that knee as close as possible to the mat. Still provide that resistance to those muscles and step behind yourself here, guys, right? We're gonna stick with legs. We got prisoner squats right now. So again, feet or shoulder with distance apart. Fingertips are behind your ears. You're gonna squat down. When you come up, you're gonna drive that left knee to meet that left elbow, pointing those toes down towards the mat. Step into that squat, and then bring that right knee up to meet that right elbow. Remember, when you're doing this, you're not just, you're not turning your body into it, right? You're using your abs to help drive that knee up, and you're gonna exaggerate that crunch at the top here, guys, all right? We're gonna speed things up. We got one froggy, followed by one burpee right now. So you start in that squat hold, you're gonna sprawl out into that plank, hop your knees to the outside of your elbows. Then you're gonna hit that burpee. You're gonna jump up, sprawl out, come in, and then repeat, okay? So the movements on the froggy and the burpee are similar, right? Cause you're hitting a squat, 
and you're hitting a plank, but the only thing that burpee is, you're adding that jump squat. So you're just gonna alternate between that froggy and that burpee, okay? You guys got a few more seconds. We're gonna turn this back into our squat holds right now. Let's go hold that squat, get nice and low. Get lower than you did the first time here. I know you're all capable of getting nice and low and pulsing it out. Yes, it burns, but I want you to push past that burn. Just because it burns doesn't mean you stand up and you're like, oh my God, it burns. No, stay nice and low and pulse, all right? Just hold it and breathe. Focus on breathing in through your nose and out through that mouth here, guys, because when I say go, it's just gonna be about five seconds. We're gonna turn this right into our alternating reverse lunges. One more time right now, let's go. Give those alternating reverse lunges. Again, take those steps behind you. And now, because it's your second time around, I want you to pulse it out for a second or two, and then you're gonna switch. You're really gonna feel those muscles working, okay? You're gonna feel a slight pull in your quads and your hamstrings, and that's fine. I want you to feel that tension build up here, right? Your muscles are really working, and your chest is always staying up, guys. So take those steps behind you, pulse, and switch. We're gonna go back into those prisoner squats. Right now, again, your fingertips stay behind those ears. You're gonna come down, left knee to left elbow, squat, right knee to right elbow. But again, make sure those toes point downwards because then you're gonna feel it more on the top portion of those quads, guys, okay? Again, fingertips stay behind your ears because that's gonna target your shoulders and your back muscles here, guys, all right? Get low and come up and you're still squeezing your glutes at the top, right? We're gonna go back in about three seconds into one froggy and one burpee. Right now, let's go back into that one froggy, followed by one burpee, back into that one froggy. Again, make sure when you're sprawling out into that plank, whether it's in the froggy or the burpee, you wanna make sure everything is in line here, guys. Your butt should not be up in the air. I want you to keep everything nice and in line. But you guys got about 10 more seconds here, so give me a few more froggies, give me a few more burpees because we're gonna slow things down. We're gonna go right into a high plank right now. Let's go, drop it down. Give me that palm plank so now your shoulders are staying over those wrists, those hips and shoulders are staying in line. Look straight ahead and breathe. For more of a challenge here, right, you can lift your left arm in the air or and hold it, or you could lift your left arm and your right leg and hold it here for the next 10 seconds that you're gonna be here for, okay? It's gonna fo focus on targeting your abs and your balance just a little bit more, but from here, without dropping, you're gonna go right into push-ups. Right now, let's go. Those shoulders stay over those wrists. Your ankles touch to the bottom. Hips and shoulders come down together, and they come up, to, up together. Remember, as you're doing this, as you push up from that push-up, you breathe out here, guys. And even if you're on your knees, right? Same thing. Hips and shoulders still have to come down together, right? It shouldn't be that your butt's up and you're doing something weird like this, right? Everything stays in line. You come down and you come up. But we're going to turn this right into abs. We got runner sit-ups. Right now, let's go. Give me runner sit-ups. Now in your hollow hold position, right? You're going to sit up as though you're doing a regular sit-up. And then you're going to twist and get that opposite knee, that opposite elbow, like you're doing a bicycle. So a runner sit-up is essentially a bicycle and a sit-up put together. So if you need to, you could keep your feet on the floor. Using your abs, you're going to sit up and twist, getting that opposite knee to meet that opposite elbow. To make it more challenging, keep those legs up off the mat to really engage your abs just a little bit more. And from here, we're going right into scissor kicks. We're going big up and down motions with those legs. Now, when you're doing this, you can get your opposite hand to that opposite foot, or you can twist and get that opposite knee to meet that opposite elbow to engage those obliques just a little bit more, okay? But make sure you keep those legs nice and straight, right? Because not only are your abs working here, your legs are working as well. But we're gonna flip it back over into that palm plank. Right now, let's go right back into that palm plank again, keeping your shoulders directly over those wrists, squeezing those abs and breathing, guys, okay? Really focus on that breathing. Okay? I cannot emphasize it enough because if you guys hold your breath, you're gonna wind up gassing out. But from here, you're gonna raise your right arm, hold it, and raise up that left leg, okay? Again, this is gonna focus on you picking a focal point, staring straight ahead and squeezing those abs, all right? You got five more seconds, don't drop. We're gonna turn this back into push-ups. Right now, let's go, give me those push-ups now. You guys can work any push-up you want. Work wide arm push-up, work diamond push-up, work one-legged push-ups, work wide arm um, walking push-ups. It's whatever your heart desires. 
Work the push-up that challenges you guys the most. I always like to say that because that's how you guys get stronger and that's how you guys get better. But make sure hips and shoulders are coming down together and they're coming up together, right? That's how you're effectively gonna target or all those muscle groups here, okay? We're gonna go back into a runner sit-ups right now. Let's go back to those runner sit-ups. If your legs were on the floor before, try to keep your legs up for, for at least two or three of them, right? You're really gonna feel a difference in those abs, right? It's gonna force you to work a little bit harder. So you're gonna sit up, twist, sit up, and twist, really exaggerating that crunch at the top. Get that knee to meet that elbow, guys, and exhale when you get that knee to meet that elbow, okay? You guys got five more seconds here. Keep going, because we're gonna go right into scissor kicks. Right now, let's go. Give me those scissor kicks. Give me those big up and down motions with those legs, adding in either the reach for the foot, or you get that knee to meet that elbow. But again, legs stay nice and straight. You don't wanna give me little limp legs as you do this, right? You still wanna engage those legs as you're doing these scissor kicks, guys, okay? You got about 10 more seconds. Make sure as you're twisting and reaching, you guys are exhaling. Push that CO2 out of your lungs, guys, all right? We got a few more seconds. We're just gonna hold that hollow hold. Right now, let's go. Give me that hollow hold now here. Your head and shoulders are directly up off the floor, right? You're staring at those toes and you're just breathing. Again, if you need to, you can keep your hands underneath your hips for support, but for more of a challenge, keep those hands by your chest, all right? Just stare at those toes because we're gonna flip it back over. We're gonna go back into arms. We're gonna turn this right into wide arm push-ups. Right now, let's go flip it over. Now you're gonna get your grips further apart than a standard push-up. Your fingertips are facing out and away from you. Again, whether you're on your toes or your knees, you're bringing your hips and shoulders down together, and then you're coming up, right? So you're coming down, up, down, up. This is gonna target your shoulders, and it's also gonna target your biceps, okay, guys? So really take your time to work those push-ups. Again, breathe as you do this, but we're gonna speed things back up. We're gonna turn this right into some high knees. Right now, let's go, pick your knees up. So stand it up, drive those knees up nice and high, right? But I also want speed because that heart rate is elevated. So drive them up nice and high. And while you're doing it, add in some jab cross. Get those shoulders nice and loose. Drive those knees up and extend those arms out. So now you gotta multitask, right? You gotta focus on extending those arms out while picking those knees up, guys. But you got 10 more seconds, so let's go. Drive those knees up higher. Let's go, push that floor away from you because we're gonna drop it down in five seconds. So we're going back to arms. We're going back into shoulder taps right now. Let's go. Give me those shoulder taps, guys, just like you did in the beginning of this conditioning portion. Now, for more of a challenge, you're going to hold your opposite hand to that opposite shoulder for a second or two, and then switch, guys. There should be minimal swaying as you do this, little to no swaying at all, right? So get that hand to that shoulder and hold it, and then switch, and then do the same, guys. The slower you go, the more those abs are going to work, all right? We're gonna flip it back over for that hollow hold. Right now, let's go, give me that hollow hold. Keeping your head and shoulders up, off the mat. Stare at those toes yet again, guys, okay? You're pushing your lower back into the mat and breathing here. It's a nice little active rest because you're resting in the sense that you're static, like you're not moving, right? But you're active in the sense that you're engaging your abs, your back, your legs, every single muscle group is working here, okay? But we're gonna go back into working those shoulders and those biceps because we got those wide arm push-ups. Right now, let's go flip it over. Give me wide arm push-ups, guys. Again, grips are further apart away from you. You could either keep your hands out like this or you could move your fingertips so that they face away. Personal preference, whichever you prefer. But make sure as you do this again, you keep those arms nice and wide. Come down and up here, guys. Take your time here, there's no rush and how many push-ups you can do in the next 10 seconds. I'd rather you give me technique here, okay? But we're gonna stand up one more time. We're gonna go back into those high knees. Right now, let's go, give me high knees. Drive those knees up, let's go. Nice and quick, nice and fast, and add in that jab cross if you didn't do it before. Focus on extending those arms out. Let those shoulders get nice and warm for the upcoming bag rounds that we have within the next two minutes coming up, all right? So again, drive those arms out, but focus on using your abs to pick those knees up. And target those calves, really exaggerate or emphasize that push, right? Because we're gonna drop it down one more time. We got those shoulder taps. Right now, let's go drop down. You're gonna be shoulder taps, guys. So now just hold your plank, opposite hand to opposite shoulder, and switch. So hold it, switch, hold it, switch, and let's go, guys. Keep those abs 
nice and tight. Remember, it's all about technique here over speed. All right, the speed will come once you get that technique, but we're gonna stand it up in about 10 seconds, so keep on going with these shoulder taps, because when I say go, you're gonna hold your squat. Right now, let's go, hold your squat. Get nice and low, guys. Push that butt back. Again, if you could with your toes, you're in a good position. From here, you're gonna go right into some burpees in three, two, one, let's go. Give me burpees, guys. Nice and quick, squat, plank, squat, jump, and repeat. You're only gonna be here for the next five seconds, because we're gonna go back into that squat hold. Right now, let's go, drop down. Give me that squat hold, guys. Get nice and low here, okay? Again, lower than you did the first time because we're gonna go back into those burpees and you're gonna add a push-up at the bottom. Right now, let's go. Give me burpees, but add in a push-up. So it's a squat, clean push-up, squat, jump, and repeat here, guys, all right? You got a few more seconds? We're gonna hold that squat right now. Let's go hold that squat. Get nice and low, okay? You're gonna be here for the next five seconds because we're gonna finish things up with burpees and you're gonna add in two push-ups at the bottom. Right now, let's go, last 10 seconds. And in that second push up at the bottom, guys. So one, two, come up, keep moving, finish it nice and strong, and time, guys. That's it. First 15 minutes are done. So, breathe, get some water. All right, I definitely know I need some. But, real quick, if you want, you guys could pause the video here to do your stretches. Um, it should be about a quick five minute stretch. Get those legs nice and loose, all right, because we got a lot of kicks coming up today as well as punches. So breathe, get some water, because we're gonna go right into those backgrounds, guys. All right, so we're back, and now we're moving into those backgrounds, okay? So we're gonna keep that heart rate nice and elevated. We're gonna start off with our jab cross like we always do, guys. So make sure when you're going into these jab crosses or any and every combination we do, you start off with that left foot in front, that right leg is behind you, and hands are always gonna be up at your face. Remember, jab is your left straight punch, cross is your right straight punch. You wanna make sure your shoulders are moving with you as you throw these punches. So you're just gonna start off, jab, cross. You're gonna go jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. I will call stuff out from there. So for now, start off with just your jab, cross, your power right now, guys. So. Jab, cross, make sure you guys are exhaling as you extend those arms out, so hands stay up. You work that pivot off that back leg, guys. So get those shoulders a little bit warm because when I say go, we're gonna turn this into 10 jab cross followed by one burpee. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One burpee, palms face you on the way down, you scroll out, you come up and back to 10 right now. Let's go, 10 quick jab cross, one burpee, and you get back up. Remember, on those jab cross, just because it's 10, does not mean you don't extend your arms out. You fully extend those arms out. You work that pivot off that back leg. That pivot is gonna make you go faster, guys, okay? It's also gonna give you power for that punch. And on that burpee, remember, palms face you, you kick out, and then you come back up to the top, guys. So let's go. You got about 30 seconds, 35 seconds left in this combination. So a quick 10, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One burpee, remember, hands always come back to your face. You should never be punching like this, right? Hands always stay up so that you work your arm here. You guys work your abs here, okay? You got 20 seconds, let's go. Go a little bit faster. I know you're all capable of going faster. Let's go, you got 10 seconds. Give me a few more sets, right? 10 quick, move around, drop down for that burpee, and get back up, and I'm gonna keep you guys moving because when I say go, you're gonna drop it down. You're gonna give me just that plank, Right now, let's go, drop it down. Give me just that plank, guys. So now, make sure, right, when you do this, your wrists are, or your wrists are facing you, right? They should never be out like this because this is how you could roll your wrist. You want nice, strong wrists here. Ankles touch, and you breathe. You look straight ahead, and you give me that plank, guys. Engage your abs, breathe, okay? You guys got 10 more seconds here, and then we're gonna move right into that next combination. We got a lot of job crosses coming up. Get ready. Get set, let's go, stand it up. You're gonna give me jab, right hook, jab, cross, and that's it. So it's jab, right hook, jab, cross, and that's it, so you're starting off with that jab. You're starting off with that left straight punch. That means your right hand is up at your face. You're gonna extend that left arm out, that left shoulder turns with you. From here, you're gonna, as you bring your hand back to your face, you're pivoting in for that right hook. Again, elbow and shoulder stay in line. You work that pivot off that back leg. 
As that hand comes back to your face, you're gonna go jab, cross, and that's it. Jab, right hook, jab, cross, and that's your combination. You guys got less than a minute remaining, so if you want to double up that jab, cross at the end of your combination, by all means, you could go jab, right hook, jab, cross, jab, cross, bring it back, jab, right hook, jab, cross, jab, cross. Again, fully extending your arms on those jabs and on those crosses, but never neglecting that hook or that pivot on that right hook, guys, okay? You can aim it to the head level, you can aim it to the body level, whichever you prefer, all right? So keep this going. You got jab, right hook, jab, cross, okay? Again, work your pivots. If you guys gotta go slow, take your time. Get used to the motion of these movements, okay? That's the most important part, all right? But you guys got 15 more seconds here left in the round, so let's go. Keep those hands up and breathe whenever you're throwing those punches. It's jab, right hook, jab, cross, guys, all right? You guys got five more seconds. When I say go, get ready to work those abs a little bit more. We're going to drop it down. We got those runner sit-ups. Right now, let's go. Drop it down. Now, I want you guys to work on keeping your legs up off the mat or up off the ground. Sit up and twist. Because you have your gloves on, you're adding a little more weight to those hands. So that's going to make it a little more challenging here, guys. So really sit up and twist and let those abs work. You guys got about 10 more seconds left. In this combination, oh, in this combination, in these runner sit-ups, right? So keep this going because our next round, we're going to throw some kicks, all right? Let's, we're going to stand it up. Right now, let's go. We're going to go right into it. We're going to go cross, left to cross, double, left front kick, and that's it, guys. So it's cross, left to cross, lean back, double, left front kick. So on that cross, left to cross, you want to focus on extending out for those crosses and pivoting, but on that left hook, Yes, it's a left side punch, and that means you're not neglecting that pivot, right? Off that left hook, your left heel comes up off the mat. Again, everything turns. Your thumb is facing upwards, okay? So it's cross, left hook, and then you extend out for that cross one more time. Lean back, double left front kick. You already know. Use those abs to pick those knees up towards those waist levels. One, bring it down. Two, you're still pretending like you're striking somebody using that ball of your foot, guys, okay? So again, cross, left hook, cross. Lean back, one, two left front kicks, and that's it. Again, keep those hands up, especially on those kicks, right? You're never kicking with your hands down. You're keeping those hands up, and that same arm is chopping down with that same leg, guys. But you got 25 more seconds left in this combination, so keep on going. Keep your hips turning, right? Again, all your power is coming from the turn of those hips, right? All your power is coming from that core, guys, right? I cannot emphasize that enough. Get your core. You work out your core so much, I want power punches, right? So cross, left to cross, double, left front kick. When I say go, we're going to drop it down. We got those scissor kicks. Right now, let's go. Drop it down. Keep those gloves on. Keep those legs straight and go left, right. Again, breathe as you guys do this. Like I said, there's several ways you guys could do this, but legs stay straight the entire time, all right? You guys got this. Again, Breathe. My goal here is to always keep you guys moving and keep those abs working, okay, guys? You got a few more seconds here left, so keep on breathing. If you got to bring your knees in towards your chest, bring your knees in towards your chest. But we're going to go right into that next combination. Right now, let's go stand it up. You're going to go right front kick, right knee, jab, jab, right uppercut, and that's it. So you're starting off with that right front kick into your right knee. So it's a double Right strike. So from your stance position, slide your left foot back to meet your right leg. This creates distance so that when you pick this knee up, you're fully going to be able to extend it out. Bring it back to your stance position. You're just going to bring this right knee up and thrust it forward. So it's right front kick, come down, right knee. Opposite hand stays up at your face. Now you're going to throw a double jab, which means you extend out for that first jab for speed. Bring it back. That jab into that right uppercut are for power. Make sure on that right uppercut, you drop your elbow down towards your waistline and you pivot into it, right? You're not swinging that arm behind you here. You're keeping it nice and tucked in towards that waist level and throwing it up, all right? So we're gonna go right front kick, bring it back, right knee, thrust those hips forward, jab, jab, right uppercut. And because it's a double up punch, right hand stays up at that face, guys. Okay, you guys got about 20 more seconds left in this combination. So give me a few more again. Move around, you don't have to stay in one spot and go, Right front kick, knee, jab, jab, uppercut, right? Move around, work that footwork. Again, work on keeping those hands up and really work those knees, guys, all right? So right front kick, right knee, 
jab, jab, right uppercut. We got five more seconds. We're gonna drop it down for a hollow hold. Get ready. And let's go, drop it down. Give me that hollow hold, guys. So now, if you need to take your gloves off to put your hands underneath your hips, that's fine. But from here, if you want, hands on your chest, stare at those toes and breathe. It's a nice little active rest. It's a nice little time for you guys to catch your breath here, okay? So stare at those toes, okay? Breathe, push that back into the mat because we got more fun coming up with this next round. All right, guys, you got five more seconds. We're gonna stand it up in three, two, one. Let's go, stand it up. We're gonna go jab, cross, left hook, right front kick, left front kick. We're putting our front kicks together in this round. So it's jab, cross, left hook, right front kick, into that left front kick, and that's it. Jab, cross, we throw so many of them, guys, right? Fully extend those arms out. First two knuckles, pretend you're punching somebody right in the face, right? You wanna punch them with those first two knuckles, right? So turn that wrist over, jab, and then you pivot in for that cross, pivot in for that left hook. So jab, cross, left hook from here, lean back, left front kick, come down, right front, right front kick into that left front kick. As you can tell, I don't know my left or my right still, but that's okay, just throw those front kicks, all right? You guys got less than a minute. Jab, cross, left hook, right front kick. Again, notice my right arm chops down with that right leg, and then when I throw my left front kick, my left arm chops down with that left leg here, guys. So opposite hand always stays up at, with that opposite hand stays up, all right, when you're throwing those punches. So again, jab, cross, left hook, right front kick, left front kick, and you guys got about 25 more seconds left. So I really want you guys to keep on working your technique, work on extending those arms out, really work that left side pivot off that left hook here, guys, okay? You got 10 more seconds, let's go. Keep this going because we're gonna go back into working those arms and abs. We're gonna drop it down. We got a plank one more time. Right now, let's go, drop it down, give me that plank, right? So now you're here in that palm plank. Again, nice firm wrist here, ankles touch. Look straight ahead and breathe. Your back should be like a table. So if I put my water bottle on your back, it shouldn't move, it shouldn't fall. If it falls, it might mean your hips are too low. You never wanna do this. This is so bad for your back, guys. Everything should be in line, but not up like this, because that also isn't good, right? So just hold it here, because we're gonna stand it up in a few seconds. We got just legs we're gonna work, okay? We're just gonna work those front kicks. We got double left front kick, double right front kick. Switch left knee, one push up, and you come back up to the top. So you're gonna start things off, right? Again, with those front kicks. Again, you can start off with that right, you can start off with that left. But make sure you're keeping your hand up. So you're gonna go double right front kick, again, using that ball of your foot. Pretend it's somebody you like. Push them through a door. Double left front kick, one, two. And then since you're back in your stance position, you're gonna just throw that left knee. It's like a switch. You're switching your feet but your hips are not changing, right? It's not a big switch like this. Your feet are the only thing changing from here. You're just gonna thrust that left knee forward. Boom, come back down. You're then gonna go into one push up and then come right back up to the top here, guys. On that push up again, hips and shoulders drop down together and they come up together. Again, you're really utilizing your abs on these front kicks and on these knees. That's the most important part is what you need to know is yes, you're working out your legs, but still, your other muscle groups being used are your abs and are your arms because you gotta keep those hands up the entire time. You guys got about 20 more seconds left in this combination. Remember, double right front kick, double left front kick, knee, and then that push up. But get ready because we're gonna go right into a speed round, all right? Get ready to get that heart rate up. We got 20 jab cross into one burpee. Right now, let's go. Give me it, guys. 20 jab cross, one burpee. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten all the way up to 20. Notice my hands are coming back to my face. I'm working that pivot off that back leg. I drop it down to that burpee and I come right back up, guys. Remember, that pivot should look like you're squashing a bug, right? Nice and quick. It's gonna help you move faster. And on those burpees, nice and quick, palms come down. You sprawl out, you get right back up to the top. You guys got five more seconds. Finish it nice and strong. You guys got three, let's go, two, and time, guys, all right? Great job, you guys are gonna take your gloves off, you do not need them. All right, get some water if needed. We're gonna stick with legs. Like I always say, I love to do legs, all right? But we're gonna do them a little bit more today, okay? There's no arms, all right? Just your legs is what you need. 
So we're just going to go into alternating lunges. All right, just like you did during that uh, conditioning portion, we're going to focus on using those legs. All right, guys? So we're going to start off with alternating reverse lunges in three, two, one, let's go. And now, take those big steps behind you just like you did earlier. If you were, if you were just standing up before, I want you guys to try to stay nice and low here. Really let those legs work here. Keep that chest up. You want to maintain that balance. But from here, we're just going to pulse it out on one side. Right now, so you bring that leg, that left leg forward and just hold. Hands are on your hips. They're going to pulse it out for about five more seconds because when I say go, you're going to switch and you're going to pulse it out on the right side. Right now, let's go pulse it out on the right side, guys. Just hold it. Again, you're going up and down, excuse me, breathing and keeping that chest up. We're going to go back to alternating reverse lunges right now. Let's go. Give me those big steps behind you if you want. If you find that's too much on your knees, you guys can always turn them into forward lunges, right? Whichever is easier or more conducive for those knees, do it, all right? Again, but breathe as you do this, right? Never hold that breath. You guys got a few more seconds here. We're going to pulse it out on one side. Get ready. Get set and just pulse it. Let's go. Pulse it out on one side, guys. Whether you're forwards or backwards, you're pulsing it out. You guys are going to hold this for about another five seconds. Get ready and switch. Let's go. Switch it up and pulse, guys, okay? You got a few more seconds. Let's go. This is going to be your final 10 seconds, right? You got, let's say you got about five more seconds. You got four, three, don't stop, two, and time, guys. That is it. Shake those legs out. Now, I want you guys to breathe. Definitely get some water, okay? I definitely, like I said, I definitely need some as well, right? So, you guys want to stretch it out. Make sure you guys stay stretching at the end of every workout. It is so important. I can't stress how important it is for you guys to stretch. So, you do whatever stretches you want. Hold them about 15 to 20 seconds each, and that's it, guys, all right? So, thank you for working it out with me, guys. Can't wait to see you guys back on the mats with us very soon. Like I say, it always, it always is a pleasure working with you guys. So we're going to finish things up with two bangs and one clap in three, two, one. And thank you, guys. Make sure you guys are staying hydrated and make good life choices. Bye, guys.